Okay, so we have some breaking news stuff in the Lori case. And hello from me and my crazy hair. <laughs> so the first thing is first is that Shannon Gray tried to file some papers with the court and Judge Boyce said basically like, I'm not accepting anything from you because you don't matter. But ultimately what they were filing for is that JJ's grandmother would be appointed as his representative. So it all worked out in the end because Judge Boyce did make these rulings. So firstly on Kay Woodcock, she does not meet the legal definition of an immediate family member, but since Charles Vallo is not alive anymore, who is JJ's adoptive father and Kay's brother. It is customary in Idaho law that they have somebody there on behalf of the victim. And since that Kay, it's not that Kay is JJ's grandmother or legal aunt, it's that Charles is Kay's brother and so they went from like the next of kin of Charles, JJ's legal father, to be able to be there. Now what does this mean for Larry Woodcock, Kay's husband? So JJ's grandfather, <sighs> Kay's husband is not allowed to be there because he has no biological relation to JJ or to Charles. He is allowed to be there after he gives his testimony and while nobody else is testifying. This is what was filed on uh, from the defense to say why Larry should not be there. And so this name here, this is JJ's legal name um, before he was adopted by Charles and Lori. So when he was born, his parents, so this here is Dennis and Mandy, they, Dennis is Kay's son. And he's also not Larry's biological son. So if you look up there at the top at number two, Kay was not married to Larry Woodcock on May 25th, 2012, the day that JJ was born, um, and is not the father of Dennis, who is Kay's son and JJ's biological father. Um when he was so he then he was adopted by legally by Charles and Lori um here legally on uh July 25th 2014 so so you might ask like they weren't married and there is confirmation on that I just want to show this here this tweet by Justin Lum go follow him he's great um he's covering everything as well and so Jim Archibald the defense um he you know they're arguing that Larry isn't the biological father of you know J JJ's biological father and he's also not related to Charles in any way so like he doesn't have any blood relation to anybody in this case which I don't really think matters but to the court it does um and it's also says that the Woodcocks are divorced and I just want to clear that so the clarification on that is that they were divorced they did get divorced but they um remarried so they are married now Additionally, um, Summer Shafet, which we haven't talked about a lot, but that is Lori's biological sister, is allowed to be in the courtroom because she is there as the representative for Tylee being Lori's biological sister, just like Kay is Charles' biological sister. And Colby meets the definition of um, immediate family member because he is Tylee's half-brother and JJ's legal um, adopted brother. So the only one really being left out here is Larry. And it's so unfortunate because Larry has been there every step of the way. He sees these kids as, you know, his grandchildren. 
um and he's been with them every you know growing up and it's just it's it's such a sad situation that this is happening and I just hope that it's for the best that it can be and I I trust the court with their decision even though it really 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 sucks and it's gut-wrenching and it's making me very sad today so let's talk a little bit about what happened with Shannon Gray um <laughs> basically Judge Boyce was like I'm not looking at anything you file like this is a joke like it please stop like this is a joke but ultimately they you know what Shannon Gray was seeking was that Kay become the legal representative for um JJ and able to be there as an immediate family member and ultimately the judge said like ruled that anyways so this tweet says like that he just got off the phone with Shannon Gray and the attorney for the Woodcocks. He says that this is a big win despite um, the judge saying they had no standing for this motion. Um, Boyce did what Gray wanted, making Kay representative for JJ. So ultimately what they, you know, Shannon filed for, the judge ended up doing. I think that that was just like a coincidence, <laughs> like not a coincidence, but I think you know what I'm saying. The decision wasn't made based off of what Shannon Gray wanted it's just based off the law so yeah that's everything that happened so far we're um in the last stages of jury selection I think they have three more people that they have to add to the total of 42 to pick between the pool of you know the 12 jurors and the six alternates and they say that that should be done by the end of this week and that opening statements are starting on Monday. So, you know, so far there's been just a lot of jury selection and it's not very exciting, but this was the biggest kind of like breaking news thing that happened in the case today. And I'm sorry for the long explanation, but I want to give you guys all of the information that I can give you when I can give it to you. So let's get ready for next week. This week has been, you know, a lot lot for everybody and you know we've had a lot of personal things come up when it rains it pours guys when it rains it pours but we're moving on we're moving forward and it's gonna be a great time so yeah give me a follow also follow stephanie i will tag her and it's gonna be great so i love you all have a great rest of your day and we appreciate all of you for being here and welcome to my new followers